This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So it's away we go then. That's been drilled forward. Cuts it out. Looks to bypass the midfield. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Drives it towards the front. Well, well played, he saw that coming. It's being played forward. And it's played forward. A really good feat from him. Aimed in towards the centre. Oh, they can break here. It's broken loose. Now a chance to break. And that has been clubbed away. And that's put paid to a promising move. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Gets it upfield. Hoists it forward. Forward it goes. Played towards the front men. Out to the left it goes. Looks to set one up. And he's there to clear it. Over to the left. Played back in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, that's where he wants it. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Half time getting close now. Hoists it forward. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Played out to the right. And that's been won straight back. And helps available out wide. Receives it from behind. And the first half is done. So neither team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goalless. So your views on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, that first 45 minutes, 
didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. And they've been caught out here. And he's onside. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. for goal a real chance and a real let off oh, it was the first touch to die for and it set him up beautifully Done very well to intervene. Has he found his man? It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Up towards the front line. Throw in. Tries to locate someone up front. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Gets into a dangerous position. And that has been cleared. Gets it back. Forward it goes. Has a pop! Hits off target and by quite a way. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. And it's played forward. He's tried one. Oh, denied brilliantly. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. It's gone out for a throw in. Driving on a real charge here. He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Looking to hit the front line. He's made sure that that won't get through. There will be one minute at a time. And there's a long ball, and it's got through. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. So a brief breather, and then extra time. Well, we are already up and running again. And that has put a stop to that.
That's great strength on the ball. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Goes direct to the front line. Uh, needed a better pass there. Out to the right. And he's cut it out. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Uh, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's been taken straight back. He goes long. He's got options out wide. It's out for a goal kick. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. But there's going to be another change here. Lobs it in gently. It's a goal kick. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision, a mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? 105 minutes of football and it is still goalless. It is going to come down to one moment. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Well, that's where he wants it. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And out to safety. You wonder. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Yeah, the longer it went on, it kind of became inevitable that it would end this way. And, and while each defence can be proud, they've got very little say from here. It's up to the keepers now. 120 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive. And now this is it. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. Great stop, keeper's denied him. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Oh, what a save! He was so focused there, fantastic save. So, the second man in line. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. So, the second man in line. He just did what he was asked. The third man in the queue. And the keepers come up, Trumps. 
Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. The third man in the queue. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. So this one to restore parity. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. It's in, and the keeper could have done better. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Lest you need reminding, miss this, and it is over. And that has lifted the roof. Shootout winners. It is such a compelling way to win. Compelling and cruel. But they were so composed under pressure, and that was the difference. Well, it's been such a long match, and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game. But I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim, and a very good afternoon to you.